Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the crowd and atmosphere was amazing. Um, you know, I only felt it really from the court before, so to be in, up in the stands and involved, it was amazing. So I'm glad we could pull it out. I was a little nervous, probably more nervous than I've ever been, um, even in a game situation. You know, being in a, a fan in, in the stands was definitely more nerve-wracking than, than being on the court. They're definitely a very talented group of kids, and, and they can shoot the ball really well. I mean, Anthony Lamb's a, a big contributor, you know, very strong athletic kid, uh, can post up, can shoot outside, gets rebounds, blocks, you know, he really fills the stat sheet very well. And then they got a bunch of other guys that are very talented as well. So um, with that combination and just getting down and on tough on defense, you know, like and having a guy like Dre Wills with the intensity and stuff, um, you know, you can make some comparisons, I think, but I think this team's probably a little bit deeper than, than our 05 team. You say community, and I would actually describe it as family, pretty much. Like, you almost enter into a family when you come here. Um, uh, when I when I played here, it was like I couldn't go anywhere without people, you know, looking after you, taking care of you, and, and the fans are incredible, you know, and everybody just open. I, I think if you didn't have a place to stay, you could pretty much ask somebody, you know, and somebody would be like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to help you out no matter what. And even now, you know, it's just such a tight, tight community. It, it feels like a giant family to me, and, and it's still that way. I mean, I came to for a game earlier on this year, came out to half court, and everybody stood up and uh, applauded. And, that, you know, it's pretty incredible after 12 years um, now, you know, still people coming up to me saying, hey, that was amazing what you guys did. And, and um, so just to be remembered and, and is, is an amazing thing, and especially for me coming from a small town in Vermont and, and being such a big part of the, the team and the program here. So I got to tip my hat to all the, the, the coaches and players since then to, to keep that going. You know, you, you see some teams, they might fall off a little bit and have some losing seasons, but that's just not the case. You know, they've really done a great job of maintaining that you know, that the program of where it is, you know, just coming out, working hard, exciting to watch, you know, and an amazing gym, you know, old gym, but, you know, it's a, the atmosphere, you know, no, nobody wants to kind of get rid of the atmosphere. So, um, Just try to stay loose and play, you know, with a lot of energy. They're a very deep team, so, you know, don't, don't save anything, you know, just let, give it all out in the game, you know. It's hard to say that because I feel like, you know, I personally ran out of gas on, uh, against the Michigan State team. Um, so, but, you know, you got to do what you have to do. And I think because they do have a deep team that, you know, just get out there and play hard, play what, you know, play the basketball that they've been playing. You know, they've been playing against teams that, you know, they've been close to winning and some big games and they've won some big games. So um, just having that confidence, go out, play loose, play your game. Um, and it's going to be, you know, anybody can step up. I mean, look at what happened in 05 with uh, Jermaine Mopagila. You know, he stepped up and had a huge game, 24 points. I think he was averaging, I don't know, four or five points maybe, you know, and then to have such a big game at a, at a crucial point in, in our, our program and to help us propel us to beating Syracuse, you know. So the upsets um, happen, and it happens with everybody on the team. So.